Good morning. We're out at a local park today and just kind of backed up into one of the little fishing areas and I'm surrounded on three sides by water here. This little island goes out and, and you're able to back your truck right in. It's a really nice spot. Lots of bird activity and fish jumping. But today we're just going to uh, come out here and using my newly rebuilt stove will make me some coffee um, it's probably about eight o'clock in the morning I haven't had my coffee yet because I got up and packed up and came out here right away and today uh, I brought this old check bread bag I guess it is and we're going to be using my uh, 1940s steel mess kit There's also people riding bikes around here watching me monologue into this camera so we got this guy and we're gonna make us up just a simple breakfast so sit back and enjoy my video We have percolation. This is the stainless steel set. Uh, I've done several videos with it, and uh, this was this is a steel Boy Scout mess kit that was produced around World War II time when when a uh, when the U.S. was involved in the war. Aluminum was needed for the war effort, so they started making them out of tinned steel. So I've got a a video on that, and. Uh, I'll put the link to to those right up in there, okay? Tin steel plate and a pot cup. And a carbon steel skillet with handle. I need to re-season this thing. And we brought what we had in the freezer. Didn't have any bacon today. But there's some sausages we're going to brown up. A little brown and serve those jokers.
Now this little bag's got a little like a little nylon pouch area inside there. So I brought out my Boy Scout Silverware set. I believe these are pre-1954 as well. Yeah. No, not pre-1954, after 1954. It says National Council on them. Okay, we're gonna make us some grits and that sausage is about done. We're gonna use our little steel pan here, little pot. So grits are a four to one ratio. So this is a half a cup here. So I'm gonna need, for what I'm cooking, two cups of water. One, two, set this up here on the stove the sausages are already done right. we need to bring that to a boil And now to make good use of our time, enjoy coffee. Time to add our grits. Let's take this baby off of here. Oh yeah. Turn this fire down. We got this half a cup of grits. going to stir this in best we can here actually I guess I'll pour it all in then we'll stir it come on out there grits be making the grits a little different today this isn't the standard grits you've seen me make before canteen cup Tuesday we're going to be dressing it up a little bit camp Ocala style so we need uh, some salt and pepper My opinion grits need a lot of salt because they're so bland oh my God. 
Try to get some of this pepper out of here. Come on out of there. I think the chunks are plugging up the holes. There we go. That's a good start, I guess. Oh, yeah. Break up these chunks here. Do it right there. We'll let her cook for a little longer. And those are going to be good. We'll add our other secret ingredients from Camp Ocala. All right, we're going to go ahead and put our eggs in. I like these little containers. This carries two eggs for me in the field. And let's uh, check our grits here real quick. Okay, they're they're okay. We're going to put, go ahead and put these eggs in here because low and slow is the best way, in my opinion. So I don't even have any of the, uh, any fire under it right now. Put just a little bit of olive oil. There's a little bit of grease in there from the sausages, but put it like that. Other egg. These are jumbo eggs that my wife bought. So we're going to be eating big eggs. All right, and I think what I want to do here is put it over. Let's check on there. This here, see if it's uh, got hot quick. See how close it is. really close so I think what we're going to do here is swap places turn this even more down Because if it tips, the handle will touch right there. Let this turn down as far as it will go. Might be it. So the secret ingredients today is a little bit of cream cheese in our grits. I won't use this whole block, but maybe just about that much. And we're going to add some curry to it. First, I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. That sounds disgusting. But you know, they tried it at deer camp, and I don't know if it was, if it's the woods or not, but this cream cheese, along with curry in the grits, it's pretty darn good. So we're going to try it again here today. I was real surprised when my dad uh, showed me that. So what we want to do here, these grits are probably done. Let me check them. Yep. So we'll go ahead and add this cream cheese to it and um, let it melt into it. And the curry will be added dead last. We're gonna put about that much in there for a single serving. Pretty good amount of cream cheese. I'm out right there. I'm gonna fold this up and put it back. Okay, so we're, what we're gonna do is let that cream cheese melt in there. Stir it up into it a little bit. Put the lid on here and let it let it cook up. And it, we'll add the curry at the very end. Take a look at our eggs. I forgot to add the salt and pepper. It's cooking nice and slow. 
hopefully it doesn't stick too bad. Right. And some salt. I don't want too much salt, just to, just a little bit. That's more than enough. And I brought this little GSI spatula that I usually carry in my in my uh, check bread bag, the other one, the canvas one. And let's just kind of give it a This side's ready to flip, but the other side is not. The, the stove, I guess the the heat was being blown off center a little bit, so I moved the skillet over just a little bit to get this part here more done. All right, let's see what we can do here. Well, I'll be able to flip it. I think I want to cut this in half because I have this little mini spatula. There we go. Well, oh, broke that yoke. That's all right, though. It'll work. Let's take a look at our at our grits here. See if that cream cheese melted enough. Oh yeah. Look at that cream cheese goodness. Try to get it so you can see it on the camera. See I'm stirring the cream cheese into it. Now what I'm going to do here is add the curry powder. It doesn't take much, just to give it a little bit of seasoning. We're not this pow this curry is not hot. It's not that kind. Oh man, I can smell the curry right now. Man, does that smell good? And you just kind of add it to your taste. You can see there's a little bit in there. I think I want a little bit more and you know just I don't have a set amount but just by feel okay we're ready to plate this stuff up so I got my sausage here we are going to do this so you can see it on the camera. But some curry cream cheese grits. Ocala. Camp Ocala style. Now, if you're saying gross, don't knock it till you try it, okay? Don't knock it till you try it. If you like curry and you like cream cheese and you like grits, give it a try. My dad was the one who who uh, put me onto that. Okay, so let me come around here on the other side so we can see better. All right, so we're going to take egg, and I like mixing it in right with my grits. Oops, casually drop them on the tank there. <laughs> These are jumbo eggs. This is more than what I more than what I need but we are out here in the in the park in the somewhat woods make sure this is off okay so here we go cooked on my 1970 what is this thing 77 Coleman stove that I just rebuilt in the previous video. Have to look at that and make sure that's the right, <laughs> the right date. Thanks for coming along with me today. 
for this video of using this stove I just refurbished cooking a little breakfast out here in the in the park if you have any questions about any of the equipment leave me a comment down in the comment section there and uh, you know give me a like if you like the video so thanks very much and we'll catch you next time